ClickFunnels is one of the most powerful landing page builders out there, but the question is, how does it work? In today's video, I'll be walking you through step-by-step -step how to build highly converting landing pages with ClickFunnels. We'll show you everything you need to know and break down this process step-by-step. -step. Make sure to follow along and don't skip around on this video so that way you understand the entire process. But without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, if you guys are interested in getting started with ClickFunnels, my biggest recommendation to you, get started with their free trial. If you didn't know, ClickFunnels offers a completely free trial, which means that you do not have to pay a dollar for the first 14 days of using it. For now, we're gonna show you how to get started with that free trial and how to get into ClickFunnels immediately. First things first, head down to the link down in the description and click that link. Once you click that link, you'll be taken to this page here. This is the ClickFunnels Get Started page. And as you can see, we can get access to their free trial by clicking this button here. We'll go ahead and click this button which will then take us to this page. As you can see, it says start your 14 day free trial now. The first thing we have to do is enter in our full name. We'll then have to enter in our full name and our email address. Once we've entered those details, we then hit the continue button. After we hit the continue button, all we now simply have to do is enter in the rest of our details. We'll enter in our phone number, our United States postal code, our credit card number, and then hit start my free trial. One of the things to look at here though, is that after those 14 days are up, you are gonna have to pay about $97 a month for the basic version of ClickFunnels. There's also upgrade portions of that that we'll talk about in the later part of this video. Once you guys fill out all that information, you'll be brought to this page here. As you can see, it says, welcome to the ClickFunnels family. Let's create your first funnel. This will only take two minutes. Now you can work completely on your own. One of the nicest parts about ClickFunnels is that they offer you a step-by-step -step to help you get started. We'll go ahead and walk you through the step-by-step -step guide and show you how to build your very first funnel. The first thing we're going to do is decide the type of funnel that we want to create. Do we want an application funnel, a webinar funnel, a summit funnel, a bridge funnel, or a video series? Now for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and create a very simple landing page. We're going to go ahead and go with the opt-in funnel so people can opt in to join our email list. Once we've chosen that, we'll then hit the next button, which will then take us to this page here where we'll choose between our color and style. Now for our main brand color, we can choose just about anything you can think of on the color wheel. We'll go ahead and change this to anything. We can just change it to red for now. Once we've selected that, we can then choose some primary colors that are kind of accent colors that go along with this. And then we can also generate some if we have no idea what we want. We can then go ahead and pick the style, which can either be blocky, color or rounded. We'll go ahead and go with rounded because I kind of like how that looks. All we have to do now is hit the next button. We'll go ahead and go with isometric 3D because it kind of looks cool. Once we selected this, we'll then hit the next button. And then in here, we can even give some details about our offer and see if they can generate something for us. We'll just say that we are a social media marketing agency, and that should be good enough. It'll then generate some easy copy for us that we can easily import directly into our funnel without really having to do much. Once that's generated, we'll then hit the create button. After we hit the create button, it will take a few moments to load everything up and get everything ready to actually start editing on our side of things. Keep in mind that this is using artificial intelligence to create this funnel. So if there's any problems or issues, we can make edits to those pretty easily. As you can see, it's telling us now, congrats, your funnel is ready. All we have to do now is click this button that says add funnel to my account. Once we click that button, it will then take us to the click funnels homepage. We'll go ahead and go inside of our workspace here and it'll take a few seconds to install the funnel. And boom, just like that, we've finally installed our new funnel inside of the system. The next thing we can do is start customizing it. We'll go ahead and click the customize now button, which will then take us into their page editor or funnel editor. This is what the inside of the funnel editor looks like. On the top left here, we have the name of the funnel that we can change pretty much at any time. In the side left bar here, we have our average card value, earnings per click, upfront sales, recurring sales, opt-ins, and page views. These are important metrics that we'll definitely want to keep in mind in part of this video because they're obviously going to be the metrics that we are gauging the overall success of our actual funnel off of. And down here, we have a zoomed out view of our entire funnel. And then of course, we can actually start editing. Now this might look kind of complicated, but I promise you it's so much easier than it looks. The first thing we'll do is head to this top part called the squeeze page. If we want to edit this, we'll simply click the edit button. This will then take us inside of the funnel editor. As you can see, after a short time loading, this is what it should look like. Now, one of the nice parts about ClickFunnels is that if I want to edit any of this, I simply can double click and start typing whatever I would like to type. And again, that goes for just about anything on this page that you're thinking about editing. You can simply click into it and start editing it on the fly. Now, let's say for instance, we want to move some of these sections up, down, or to just a different part of the funnel. As you can see, when we select this green part, part here and everything turns green, we can either click the down arrow or the up arrow. The down arrow, of course, will move it down a section and the up arrow will, of course, move it up a section. It just depends on where we want it to be. Then, of course, we 
have these other parts here called elements. These elements can be changed super easily and we can make them say just about anything we want. As you can see in the top part here, we can go to this add element feature and start adding elements that we think would look good here. We can add things like a headline, a subheadline, a paragraph, bullet list, and so on and so forth. Let's say for instance, we want an image in this top row here though. The first thing we wanna do is hover over it until it turns blue. Once it turns blue, we can then head over to the settings gear here, click on that, and then start playing around with things. We can change the width and padding. And then of course we can also change to have an image up there as well. In order to change the image, the first thing we wanna do is head over here to the advanced options. Now in order to actually change this image, we're gonna to have to go into the element itself. By doing this, we're gonna go over here to where it's orange and click these three dots. We'll then go to settings, which will then take us to this box here. All we have to do now is have an image, which can either be from a site logo or we can upload our very own. And really the same goes for the rest of these. It's a super simple system that you can operate in to start making edits to your overall funnel. One of the things that you really want to consider though is that a funnel should have multiple steps. This squeeze page is going to be the first place that they come to enter in their work email address. Once they go past this page and enter in their work email, it will then take them down to this page here. This is the next page where they'll actually get access to whatever piece of content that you're giving them. Typically with an opt-in funnel, you want to have some type of reward that people are getting for giving you their email. This can be just about anything, whether it's a free ebook, a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute session, or just something that has value. As you can see, this is the page that they land on the second they get inside of this part of the funnel. There's also some extra sections down here that we can also play around with as well. And really that's just about it. ClickFunnels is super easy to use. And as you can see, just from the things that I'm doing on my screen right now, these things are super easy to edit. The gear icon is pretty much how you're gonna do most of the setting changes. And this right tab here is where you're gonna do most of your setting changes. And then if you wanna go out to the wider version of the funnel, you can actually take a look here and start adding entire new pages. We simply click this plus icon, which then we can add either a page, a conditional split path, or a split test. As you can see, once we're inside of this part, we can choose from any of the pre-existing themes, meaning that we don't have to start from scratch. We can choose any of these themes here, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the orange company homepage. We'll give it a quick name, a description, add the page URL, and then change any of the styles if we want and then hit create page. Once we create that page, we'll then have a brand new page on our funnel app that we can start editing, which will then be loaded right here. And again, if you wanna preview any of these to see what they look like as a final version, we simply hit the preview button, which will then take us to a finalized version of the website, which will look something like this. With ClickFunnels new AI feature, it's never been easier to get started with building a funnel, especially with their built-in tools and pre-existing themes, it's not really that complicated anymore. So if you're somebody who's been thinking about getting started with building a funnel or your website or your business, I definitely would recommend getting started. If if you guys want to get access to a 14 day free trial when getting started with ClickFunnels, definitely use the link down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about creating a funnel, or if you just want to talk about the funnel that you're creating, make sure to comment down below. Also make sure to like button and subscribe button so you never miss any of our future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in a future one.